Microsoft Intune is a cloud-based endpoint management platform that enables organizations to manage devices, enforce security policies, and protect their networks. And guess what? Intune can be fully integrated with NetBird. This integration provides network security by ensuring only devices managed and compliant in Intune can access the protected network. NetBird then enhances the security ecosystem by providing a WireGuard-based overlay network with zero trust network access capabilities. While Intune focuses on device compliance and application management, NetBird provides secure network connectivity through its point-to-point -point private network infrastructure. This creates a complementary security approach where one, Intune verifies device compliance and manages the application policies, then IntraID provides identity verification and conditional access decisions, and three, NetBird establishes secure network pathways with granular access controls. This division of security responsibilities creates a comprehensive zero trust implementation in which devices are verified as compliant before they can establish network connections to protected resources. In this video, we're gonna show you how to set up the integration and how easy it is to only allow Intune managed devices to access your network. So now we're gonna go ahead and dive right on into setting up this integration. I will note that everything we're gonna talk about is right here in the documentation, all the steps, all that. So that will be linked down below. And we do need to check some prerequisites. So let's go over to portal.azure.com. And then from here, I'm gonna check our permissions. So if we head over to roles and administrators, so right here, wait for that to load up and you are gonna to need to be part of at least one of these groups. You can see I'm part of the global administrator group, so that is good. Alternatively, I could be an application administrator or a cloud application administrator. So just make sure you're part of one of those groups and you will have the correct permissions to go ahead and do this. So now let's head over to NetBird. This obviously assumes you already have a NetBird account. We have a whole bunch of videos going over the technology, how to go through the onboarding process, bunch of different things. So you already have your NetBird account here. What we're gonna do is go over to integrations and then under MDM and EDR, we're gonna click on that. And right here we have Intune. So just simply check this box and then it's gonna go through the process of getting all this set up. Here we have the permissions we're gonna need. Let's go ahead and click on get started. Going through here, it's going to actually give us all the steps that are gonna be in this video. So you can follow along directly in the documentation right here on the integration or with this video. But the first thing to do is to create a new app registration. So we head back over to Azure and I'm gonna go back here to home and we're gonna to wanna to open up our app registrations. So if I go over to app registrations here, what we could do is click on new registration Give it a name. So for this case, this is gonna be my NetBird demo and keep this first one selected accounts in this organizational directory only. So from there, we could go ahead and click on register, give it a minute to create that and there we go. So we have some uh, application IDs, directory IDs. That's gonna be important a little bit later. We could always get back to that. So let's head back over to our NetBird here and then click on continue. So now we're gonna do some stuff with the app permissions. So let's head back over and under manage here, we're gonna to want to go down to API permissions. So go ahead and click on that, let it load up. So here we should get a page that looks like this. Let's go ahead and click on add a permission. For this, let's select Microsoft Graph and this is going to be under application permissions. So here we're gonna to want to search for something. We are gonna search for device management, manage devices, read all. Hit this drop down click the permission and click on add permissions. So that will go ahead and update there. So now we can see the permission right there. We do have a little warning. So what we're gonna need to do is go right here to grant admin consent for default directory, say yes, let it get a quick refresh. And now you could see that we have the default directory permissions granted. So now from there, we can head back over to NetBird. Let's hit continue here and we're going to need to paste in a certificate and secret, specifically our client secret. So let's head back over here. And over here on the side where it says manage, we have certificates and secrets. Let's click on that. And we're gonna create a new client secret. Here, you could call it whatever you'd like. I'm gonna call this NetBird. Uh, we're gonna go with the recommended 180 days and click on add. So now we have the client secret here. I believe it is the value. So let's go over here. We got the value, give that a copy and then drop it right there. 
So from there, let's hit continue. And now we have to get our application and directory IDs. So to get that, we're gonna go back to overview and we have everything we need right here. So first let's copy that application ID, drop it on in and then copy that directory ID and then drop that on in. So from there we can hit continue. Now peer approval, this is all the groups that are going to need the Intune agent to be able to access the network. So you could create a new group if you want to and specify it to other users or however, but an easy way to do this is to use an already existing group of people such as the IT administrators. Let's say I want all of those folks to use Intune and then maybe anybody who is part of the tenant manager group. I want them to be using the Intune agent as well. So continue. We have our in sync window here. So this requires 24 hours to be synced to have access to the network. Uh, you can change that if you want to. I'm just gonna click on connect and you could see it's setting up the integration and the integration was successful. And then we could always go back into it by clicking on settings. Here you could change your peer approval groups your Intune sync window, your actual settings. So if you wanted to do it with a different application, you could switch that up here if you'd like to, or the danger zone, you could delete the integration as well. Now, allowing Intune only devices to access the network is just the tip of the iceberg. I do recommend you go check out our documentation on deploying NetBird with Intune. This will go over deploying NetBird as a Win32 app and adding it to, or deploying NetBird as a line of business application and adding the MSI installer to Intune. And if you just want to learn more about NetBird in general, I do recommend you check out our video covering our architecture. It goes over everything from our management panel, relay servers, and more. So with all that, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.